Introduction to Waves We all have seen ripples been formed on the surface of water when we throw a stone into it. Let us see this with the help of a video. Whenever a disturbance is created in a medium, it progresses outwards in a series of concentric circles called ripples. During this progress, the molecules of the medium do not travel. Instead, they only oscillate about their mean position. To oscillate means to move to and fro. It's the disturbance only which is passed on to the neighboring molecules and seems to travel. There is no transfer of matter, that is, water molecules do not move from one place to the other. This disturbance is called wave and its propagation or movement is called wave motion. Let us understand with the help of these diagrams. In the first diagram, all the particles are at their initial positions. When a disturbance is created, they start oscillating about their mean positions. So in the second diagram, we see that certain molecules are moving away from the mean position while some molecules are moving towards the mean position. They are displaced from their mean position and at the same time different molecules are at dis different displacement positions and hence a wave form is created. This is the curve obtained by joining the displaced positions of the particles. We see while the particles are simply moving up and down, the direction of propagation of energy and disturbance is towards right. Let us study the movement of three neighboring molecules A, B and C when a disturbance is created. Particle A is first to be disturbed it passes the disturbance to B and B passes on to C and so on. Let us see what happens. Particle A is at mean position on being disturbed moves on to one extreme position. At that point, point B is at the mean position. When particle A comes towards the mean position, particle B is moving towards the first extreme position. At this point, particle C is at initial position. Particle A now starts moving towards the other extreme position from the mean position and at this time the particle B is moving from its extreme position to the mean position. But particle C has now started to move from initial position to the extreme position on one end. At this point of time, particle A starts moving towards the initial position. But particle B is now moving towards the other extreme position and particle is moving towards the initial position from the first extreme position. So you see at the same time every particle is at different position. This creates a wave.
based on whether waves require a medium to travel or not waves are divided into two types mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves mechanical waves require a medium for their propagation whereas electromagnetic waves do not require a medium for their propagation mechanical waves are produced due to the to and fro motion of particles of the medium about their mean position but in an electromagnetic wave they are produced due to the variations of electric and magnetic fields the speed of mechanical waves is low for example speed of sound wave in air is 330 meters per second that of electromagnetic waves speed is very high for example speed of light wave is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second in vacuum while mechanical waves could be longitudinal or transverse electromagnetic are always transverse in nature mechanical waves have low frequency and large wavelength whereas electromagnetic waves have high frequency and short wavelength now let us divide the waves on the basis of the movement of particles so there are two types of waves based on the movement of particles transverse waves and longitudinal waves in transverse waves particles of medium vibrate at right angles to the direction of propagation of energy in longitudinal waves particles of medium vibrate along the direction of propagation of energy while crests and troughs are produced in transverse waves compressions and rarefactions are produced in longitudinal waves one crest and one trough constitutes a wavelength in transverse waves while one compression and one rarefaction constitute a wavelength in longitudinal waves there are certain terms which you are not familiar with we will be discussing these terms later on let us see the examples of transverse waves and longitudinal waves with the help of certain videos here you see that the particles of this long spring or a slinky are moving left and right but the disturbance is traveling in the straight direction so the direction of movement of disturbance and the direction of movement of particles are mutually perpendicular hence this is a transverse wave here the disturbance is traveling along the length of the spring like this but the particles are also moving or also oscillating along this direction only so this is an example of a longitudinal wave let us understand the mechanical waves with the help of this video we know mechanical waves are the waves that require a medium to propagate 
from one point to the other. Mechanical waves are both longitudinal as well as transverse waves. Mechanical waves can propagate because of the interaction forces between particles of a medium. A spring model has been considered for this explanation. The springs represent the interaction forces between the particles. Let us see how transverse waves are generated. Transverse waves makes particles of medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave motion. When the first particle is pulled up, the next particle also feels the upward pull. The third particle is also pulled by the second particle. Inertia is the tendency of objects to resist change in motion when pushed or pulled. It takes time before particles move when acted upon by a force. Greater the mass, greater is the inertia. If the first particle is pulled down, it also pulls down the particle next to it. The forces between particles enable them to influence the motion of those next to them. The particles of the medium return to their undisturbed positions also because of these forces. The energy used in creating the wave is carried up to the end of the medium. The particles of the medium are not carried along by the propagating waves. Let us see how longitudinal waves are generated. Longitudinal waves make the particles of medium vibrate parallel to the direction of wave motion. The push and pull on the first particle are also felt by the next particles. Each particle then moves left and right in succession as the waves propagate. The particles of the medium are not carried along by the propagating waves. Inertia makes the particles move in succession and not at the same time. Thank you.